Classify the mission area. What is up guys, welcome back to another Blackout video. Today I want to talk about a few problems that Treyarch needs to fix um, in Blackout. So, I mean, for the most part, it played great. It's a great game mode, I had a lot of fun. It's, you know, it's just... It is so freaking awesome to play this with friends. I didn't like playing solo, it's too much pressure, but playing with friends is a lot of fun and we did a lot of crazy shit. It was freaking awesome, but there are a few little things, not a big deal, that Treyarch has to work on. And without wasting any more time, the first thing on my list of things Treyarch needs to fix in Blackout is the friendly fire. I don't know why this is allowed, we don't need friendly fire. Now, I must say that um, all randoms were very, that I played with at least, were very respectful, they were freaking awesome, they always tried, to, most of them always tried to stay close and play, you know, as a team, even when they didn't have a mic, so that was definitely pretty cool. I never got killed by a random, um, unlike, for example, um, in Fortnite. In Fortnite, I cannot tell you how many times I got killed by freaking random because he wanted to steal my scar it was absolutely annoying um so yeah even though people are not team killing um in a blackout at least i didn't experience that sometimes they would get in the way i would shoot them or vice versa when we were fighting other enemy players and i think we don't need to have this it's you know it's a waste of health you know when you make a mistake and shoot your teammate like and health is so precious in this game mode so i hope that in the future they disable the friendly fire and then we have the friendly stunning or flashing why is this also allowed we don't need this shit either in the game man um yeah a couple of times my teammates tried to stun enemy players but uh, they also ended up stunning me and i like when you get stunned you cannot move it's another thing we don't need in blackout uh, and then we have uh, zombies now i absolutely love zombies in this game mode zombies together with multiplayer great idea treyarch but the zombies have two very cheeky problems problem number one they have a lot of health man they're like bullet sponges like you really gotta shoot them um a lot to kill them and that's annoying because bullets are precious you know just like health in this game mode and it's you know it's it's so annoying to waste bullets killing zombies um yes you can ignore the zombies and just run for your life or whatever but sometimes you really want to loot a place you really want to hit the mystery box and the zombies are so freaking annoying because they have so much health the biggest problem when it comes to zombies is the commando lunge i mean what the hell they look like players from modern warfare 2 they can literally shank you <laughs> spank you slap you from a mile away and it is so freaking annoying because they are nowhere close to you um and uh, they can hit you it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense so i hope that they also fix this little problem and we have the reagan man the reagan is amazing it feels awesome to use the reagan in a multiplayer game mode and kill players with a ray gun you know before we could only kill zombies with a ray gun now it's in the multiplayer that's freaking awesome man because the ray gun is super badass but there's one problem the ray gun only has 20 shots and you cannot get ammo for it i don't know why i hope that they allow us to get ammo for the ray gun because it's pretty much it's pretty much a waste of a gun. No one wants to carry a ray gun unless you just want to get you know one kill, maybe get the last kill and win the game with the ray gun. But uh, yeah, it's really a waste of a weapon because you cannot get ammo for it. And then we have picking up items. That sometimes was also a problem when it comes to picking up items. What pissed me off was that many times you couldn't really get the item you wanted at first you had to press square on the playstation you know one or two times to get what you wanted another thing that pisses me off is that to get an item you have to look at the ground and when you look at the ground you're not looking at what's in front of you and an enemy can come and kill you which can definitely be super annoying and one last one last thing about picking up items that pissed me off is that when items were close to doors uh, many times you couldn't pick up the item because your dumbass would just open and close the door over and over again Again. And then we have, oh my god, the graphics. <laughs> Treyarch, what is this? 
with all these graphics man they don't make any sense i hope that the graphics were this bad just for the beta i hope that black ops 4 has black ops 3 graphics at least man it doesn't make if we were playing on the playstation 3 and xbox 360 you know these graphics would be freaking awesome right we're on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. I mean, PC doesn't count because it has better graphics. And when you have, you know, on the same console, games like Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5 with absolutely amazing graphics, and then you have this, it just, it doesn't make any sense. So I, you know, it's something that I think most people were complaining about the graphics. I think everyone agrees the graphics are poop, but uh, hopefully it was just a thing for the beta. Then we have something small, but it pissed me off a lot because it was something I was doing uh, all the time. Using vehicles. And when it comes to using vehicles, sometimes entering a, ve entering a vehicle can be a pain in the ass, especially the quad bike. Many times we were, we were under fire and uh, we just wanted to run for our lives and, uh, you know, a team mate would you know try to give me a ride with the quad bike and to enter the quad bike you really gotta be behind you literally have to be behind the quad bike you cannot enter it from the side i'm talking about the passenger seat and that doesn't make any sense man it just i mean what it doesn't make any sense many times i would lose some health because i couldn't get i couldn't enter the um the quad bike you know at the first try and sometimes it will also happen with the truck sometimes you're like you're close to the door you press square and it doesn't immediately enter and you have to press again it's kind of dumb and then we have fall damage now i'm okay with fall damage right it makes sense but some of the fall damage was like super super dumb many times i was running from the storm running for my life and i would go down a hill not super high and to move faster i would jump and slide at the same time just a small jump and it would make me lose health like 10 points of health like it doesn't make any sense it's cool losing health if you jump from a rooftop right of a small building but going down a small hill on the grass losing health due to fall damage doesn't make any sense and uh, then we have monkey bombs yeah it's also pretty cool we can use monkey bombs in the multiplayer and if you're lucky you can even kill a player with a monkey bomb but the problem is that most of the time they didn't freaking work they would just you know be there on the ground not doing anything it, it's like they would only work in zombie locations and they would only work while zombies were alive when the zombies were gone um, I think that the monkey bombs literally just stopped working so I hope they also fix this because I really want to kill a motherfucker with the monkey bomb then we have the airdrop when it comes to the airdrop I think that it's very loud I mean it is so freaking loud you cannot hear anything around you and it's also pretty hard to see spot the airdrop when it lands i don't know why but in fortnite i have this i you know i have the idea that it was very easy to spot supply drops i don't remember if they were marked on the minimap but they were very easy to spot and uh, the ones in blackout are super hard to spot some of them had the parachute others didn't have a parachute it doesn't make any sense so i hope they also fix that then we have the body armor i think they said they're gonna fix this but the body armor really needs like some sort of health bar so that you know how good in so that you know in in what condition your body armor is because like yeah it would get shredded a little bit the image would change a little bit but you really couldn't tell how much body armor you had left and it's very important to know that then we have going down ladders oh my god small ladders were okay but ladders on you know super tall buildings or on the big trains on like um on the docks whatever it's called um wow i was so afraid of going down super tall ladders because it's just sometimes you just you wouldn't go down the ladder you just fall and uh, many times i would lose like half of my health i don't know why it's so hard to go down ladders in blackout but it's something that they need to fix i'm actually i'm literally scared shitless of going down ladders in in blackout and finally the last thing i want to talk about is um deploying the wingsuit i think that they need to make it so that you can deploy the wingsuit 
from any kind of like tall building to use this thing you really had to be on the tallest building of the map or on the tallest crane or you know you had to be in the helicopter and I feel that it would be pretty fun if you could use the wingsuit from you know smaller height so these are pretty much the things I you know the problems I encountered uh, playing blackout let me know what you guys think in the comment section below thank you for watching I'll see you next time peace out